I just created this amazing extension with the help of ChatGPT, and trust me, I did not even code a single line and it actually works. So I can save any file as a PDF or I can save any file as an HTML file, which you can see on your screen. And I created this extension within barely 10 minutes. And all I needed was ChatGPT and VS Code to actually make this work. Now, if you're new to the channel or if you've missed my previous videos, you can go and check them out. I have created a video about how you can create Chrome extensions with ChatGPT and make money through it. And today I'm going to be using the comment section of this video to actually get the idea for this new extension. And I've created another video on how you can deploy this on Chrome Web Store. So do watch these videos if you want to get into the Chrome extensions market. And with that said, let's get to work. Hi and welcome back to SkillCurve. This is your host Shamriz. And let's get started with building our Chrome extension. So the topic for this one, as I told you earlier, I've chosen one of the ideas from the comment. This is about creating an extension that can download a full web page into a file.html and a file.pdf. So I'm just going to go and copy this and we're going to discuss this later. So I'm going to paste that right here and I'm going to show you how easy it is to actually grab any idea from anywhere and turn it into a money making software. So first I'm going to add the comment, then I'm going to give it a prompt. So I'm going to say, give me a step by step guide on how to create a Google Chrome extension. And then I'm going to state that the below is the idea for the extension. Now the idea is about creating an extension which will save full page as a single file.html with all combined resources, which means that we're going to get the styling, we're going to get the images, we're going to get the responsiveness as well, which is a very important part here because the comment said, keep in mind, it must keep layout and responsiveness. So I'm going to make sure of that. And the second part is about creating a PDF out of that web page. So let's go and actually try this out. So I'm gonna go and hit enter. All right, so the output is here and we're gonna need to set up the project structure just like this one here. So we're gonna need a manifest file, a popup.html, popup.js file. These are the important one and the background.js. Mostly you won't be needing this. This is an optional file, but we're gonna just have it. And then we're gonna have a HTML save and a PDF save file for custom code to convert the web page into PDF and into an HTML savable file. And we're going to need a content.js file for interacting with the web page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create all of these files inside my VS code right here. So first I'm going to have my manifest.json. Then I'm going to need my popup.html. Then there is popup.js. Then there is background js we're going to need content.js and the last two files are html save.js and pdf save.js so there you go we have all of the files ready for us and i'm going to start with manifest.json and start populating the code here so if we go back here the second step is to create the manifest.json file and add all of this code so i'm just going to go and copy this i'm going to paste that right here Let's go and save. Next is popup.html. I'm just going to go and copy that. Paste that right here. Save it. Next we have the popup.js file. Let's just copy it. And back here, let's go to popup.js and let's save that. Then we have the content.js. Let's copy this and let's go and paste that right here. Let's save that. Next we're going to handle the download in the background.js file. So let's copy that. Let's paste that right here. Now the last two files are one for HTML save and the last one is for PDF save. And I've populated all the files. Now back to ChatGPT, we're gonna actually go and test it. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the extensions tab and again, make sure that you have the developer mode turned on and you can load unpacked files. So I'm gonna load. Now that we have our save web page as HTML or PDF extension right here, let's actually go to test it out. So I'm gonna go and click on the extension. And I'm going to save this as an HTML file. Let's go and click on that. I don't know why it's not working, but let's go back to the extensions and we see some errors here. So we have an error here, which is a type error. So let's go and resolve that. I'm just going to go and copy all of this. So let's go and copy this. And I'm going to go and paste that back inside ChatGPT. And I'm going to say I'm facing this error. And we get the result. So the error was because of this method and ChatGPT actually updated the background.js. So let's try this now. I'm going to go and replace the code here. Let's paste that. 
save it let's go back to extensions i'm gonna go back let's reload and let's try this out now so there you go it's actually working so i'm gonna save this so i'm gonna test this out so let's go and open up the file so this was the file page.html that i just downloaded and yep this is in my local system and this is the web page which is actually being hosted live and if i try to test out the responsiveness so there you go it is quite responsive this is the actual web page and if i go to the downloaded web page you can see it is actually responsive as well and you can see that we can hover over we have all the styles the images we we can search anything so yeah it actually went on and grabbed all the resources all the styling and the images from the web page and downloaded that isn't that great and that too with just one click and i'm really in love with this but let's go and try the pdf version now so if we can get the pdf to work then we're good to go and we can work on the styling so yep the pdf is working there you go love it the pdf is working as well so i can actually go on and click print and i can save that as page one let's save that let's open it up and there you go this is the page one pdf that we just downloaded with this extension and it is actually working i mean wow this is really great we have the styling as well as the images so as you can see our html as well as the download pdf is working now what we need to do is we need to actually go on and do something with the styling because i think this is way too plain and we need to actually up the game a bit and make this more eye-catching so i'm just gonna go back to chat gpt i'm gonna say that i i'm good with the code i just need to restyle the interface of the extension and there you go let's hit enter so it's actually gonna go and update the popup.html and there you go it's adding some styling here and if you go back to the last popup.html you can see that there is not much styling but this time it's going way into it and actually styling all the specs of the extensions ui so that's it let's copy it let's go back i'm gonna paste this save it so yep it is working so back here i'm gonna go and reload the extension and let's go and test the ui so i'm gonna go and open the extension now we have this amazing interface you can see this amazing transition that we're having on the pop-up this is really cool and this tag here this is powered by chrome extension cool so what i can do is let's go and click on one of these buttons cool i mean i have the on click transition as well and i think this is a cool design but you can just go on and play with this and you see how easy it was for us to actually create a whole fully fledged extension within just barely 10 minutes and as i've told you earlier i've created a few more videos on chrome extensions and you can go and check them out if you want to actually publish such extensions on chrome web store and make money through them and as you can see we did not code even a single line everything was done by chat gpt a no code tool and we did this using natural language prompts so yeah you don't need to know coding to actually earn through softwares you can create softwares using natural language prompting through chat gpt or other no code tools out there and that is the purpose of this video to enable you to be able to earn using these amazing resources out there and with that said that wraps up our video for today i hope this video was valuable if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring that notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring